Incidences of Huntington's disease have been noted as early as the 17th century, where many innocent victims were persecuted due to the lack of understanding about movement disorders. It is now believed that the witches who were tried in the Salem Witch Trials of 1692 were suffering from Huntington's disease, although at that time they were seen to be possessed by the devil. The transmission of Huntington's disease has been traced back to a single family in Suffolk, England, known as the Burr's family group, many of whom were tried as witches in the Salem Witch Trials. Huntington's chorea was first identified as a specific disease entity in 1872 by a 22-year-old American physician, George Huntington, in his paper entitled On Chorea. Prior to this, Huntington's disease was not distinguished from other movement disorders. This paved the way for the discovery of the causative gene in 1983, which led to the development of the highly reliable predictive test for CAG repeats in 1993. Huntington's chorea later became known as Huntington's disease due to the variable manifestations of the disease as it became apparent that not all patients exhibited chorea. Huntington's disease was brought to greater public awareness in 1967 with the death of famous poet and songwriter Woody Guthrie from this disorder. This led to the establishment of the Committee to Combat Huntington's Disease, now known as the Huntington's Disease Society of America which encouraged the formation of similar organisations around the world. With the increasing awareness of this disorder, Huntington's disease have, has been depicted in novels, films and television series such as ER, All Saints and House. Huntington's disease, otherwise known as HD, is an inherited autosomal dominant disorder. Therefore, children have a 50% chance of inheriting the gene from an affected parent. Early signs and symptoms include fidgeting, twitching in the extremities, excessive restlessness, clumsiness and difficulty with daily activities. As HD progresses, these signs will most likely develop into more obvious jerky movements, leading to difficulties with walking, speaking and swallowing. In addition to physical signs, many intellectual and psychological changes such as memory loss, anxiety and reduced capacity to deal with routine and novel stimuli. These accompany the progression of HD the symptoms of juvenile HD can differ from adult onset. Young people more often have stiffness or rigidity of movements and can have recurrent seizures rather than experiencing traditional chorea. However, juvenile HD is always defined by age due to the high variability of symptoms. HD is caused by a mutation in the distal short arm of chromosome 4, which results in a variable expansion of a CAG repeat sequence located in exon 1 of a large gene containing 67 exons. This causes an extended translation of glutamine in the protein product Huntington, which is expressed throughout the body and causes the neuropathology of HD. HD causes the following changes to a patient's neurotransmitters. Reduced acetylcholine synthesis in GABA in the striatum. Increased transglutaminase in cortex, cerebellum and striatum. Depleted GABA, angiotensin-converting enzyme and metencephalin in the substantia nigra and high somatostatin levels in the striatum. There is no cure for HD, but drugs such as antipsychotics may help relieve some symptoms. Speech therapy, occupational therapy and physiotherapy can be used to help an affected person lead as normal as life as possible. Aside from the observable impacts HD has on a person's physical health, it's also important to recognise and appreciate the significant psychological effects of HD on a person's lifestyle. Throughout all stages of the disease, those afflicted must deal not only with their own emotions and diminished in independence, but also the reactions and needs of their family, friends and wider community. Common issues associated with HD include depression, suicide, reckless behaviour, ignorance, loneliness and fear, difficulty in maintaining relationships with spouses and partners, which may deteriorate as a person's ability to cognate, communicate and want for sexual activity changes. Spouses and partners dealing with unexpected role changes, for example, learning to cook, dealing with household paperwork or returning to paid employment. Difficulty in maintaining a stable family home environment, which can be complicated by divorce or affected parents moving into a specialised care facility. The children of people with HD being overwhelmed with a sense of hopelessness or futility due to their unknown gene status, causing a decreased motivation for life. This may or may not also lead to drug and alcohol abuse and or potential run-ins with the law. 
The dilemma whether or not to undergo gene testing and if a positive status is returned, the decision to pass this information on to offspring. This is especially topical in the case of late set HD. People at risk deciding whether or not to have children and if the HD gene should be eradicated using selective IVF. Difficulty in moving from independent living to a nursing home or other care facility. General personal, medical, financial and legal problems and preparing for death. With so many sensitive and serious issues to contend with, it is important people with HD and their families can access targeted support and counselling services to help retain and provide for the best quality of life possible for all parties. Points of interest. In Australia, genetic testing for HD is available, excluding prenatal testing, for anyone over the age of 18 who is at risk and has undergone counselling. There are no abnormal emotional responses to the progression of HD. However, common reactions include denial, rage, guilt, shame, self-pity, envy, moodiness, irritability, personality changes and violent outbursts. The Australian Huntington's Disease Association, AHDA, is the national support network for HD, the state service being Huntington's Victoria.